Let's take a look at what's making the front pages here today. Well, the growing food shortages being ac uh, reported across the UK. You will have experienced it yourself, no doubt. Consumer editor Claire Barrett is here. I thought I was going mad the other day. You know, went into the supermarket to make this hidden veg sauce that I make. I mean, I couldn't find peppers. There was one courgette left. I mean, just this empty, empty, empty. What's going on? So what's causing this is supply chain disruption, our old friend um, from the beginning of the pandemic. But this time it's affecting seasonal vegetables that we're not growing here. The ones that we're importing from places like Southern Europe and Northern Africa, lettuces, tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, just as you said. Now, there's been very frosty weather um, a couple of weeks ago, which has affected the harvest. So there's now a gap in supply because it's colder. So it's been taking longer to grow these vegetables. And that they is can't get them change. over here. You know, that, that is climate, that is climate that is change. The effect of climate change. But then also energy prices being so high, normally, UK farmers would be growing these kind of things in greenhouses over the winter so that we would have our own produce to fall back on. But that hasn't been happening because energy costs are so high and things like greenhouses for, for growing vegetables, they're not um, included in the government's special list of intensive um, energy so supply no uses. And so no tax breaks exactly. So the mm. farmers have been warning about these kinds of problems for a long time. Now, finally, it looks like people. Well, are it's listening. here, isn't it? Um, any indication from farmers or from supermarkets about how long this, you know, glut will go on for? Well, the supermarket bosses are telling people not to panic. Um, that it should be. I'm not a sure people of, panic over a bit <laughs> of lettuce. A couple but, you of know. weeks. I don't think we're going to see the, the kind of the loo roll um, no. scavenging uh, that, that, that we saw, just because you, you know this. These are fresh foods. You can't, can't keep them for more than a few days. So they're saying it could go on for a few weeks, but inevitably people are saying, are we going to see price rises? You pay more for imported um, fruit and vegetables at this time of year anyway. And if there's a shortage, could that lead to price rises? Who knows? But I would stress to people, you can still buy tin tomatoes. You can still buy well, frozen vegetables. It does make your vegetables. salad quite soggy if you pour a tin of <laughs> chopped tomatoes over your... You know. Well, I mean, lots of people are saying we should pay more respect to the seasons. We Agreed. should eat food that's in season rather than be paying to import it in plastic halfway around the world. But that's the situation and it's yet another thing that we're having to deal with yes, in the cost of living crisis. And it's interesting, isn't it? Because we've been talking about, you know, we heard Joe Biden talking yesterday about, our, you know, reducing our reliance on fuel from Russia, you know, because of what's going on there. We are increasingly thinking, aren't we, we've got to start supplying our own, you know, encouraging British farmers to grow things and making it profitable for them because otherwise yeah. we will end up being a hostage to fortune won't we about the weather and the climate in other countries yeah and i think so. any government minister looking at shots <coughs> of shells like this we need to listen to our farmers yeah. and talk to them about being more self-sufficient it's fruit and vegetables now it was eggs a few months ago what's it, it going to be next with avian flu yeah all right claire and you're back aren't you Double I am back. today. Um, we've got some really good news. If you're somebody who is claiming a state pension, lots of women getting really big payouts where they've been underpaid in the past, thousands of pounds, and we're talking about credit cards. So still time to send in a question if you've got one. Fab. Thanks so much, Claire.